Hey folks, welcome back to episode 2 of the Viking House build with hand tools only. I'm with Dustin today, Dad's not here, sadly he's got a bit of the flu. So we've been working on, as you can see, the frame. This whole episode is based on the frame we've done the foundation which is this this edge these kind of log cabin style edging and now we're working on the actual a-frame itself so let me just quickly talk you through what we've done and explain what we've done and then i'll get you right up to date with where we're at now so this is where we're at. What we've done is we burnt the edges of the A-frames. We did that in the previous episode. Hopefully you saw us do that. If you want to watch episode 1, I'll put a link in the, dis the top of the corner and in the video description below. We burnt all these edges and the reason for that is that any moisture from the ground it helps to seal it up and protect it from the rot it will it will rot eventually but it makes it a lot longer to uh to rot away it gives it that protective seal evaporates all that moisture out and uh yeah ancient japanese technique and is used widely for building just in general as well uh building and developments to help preserve that wood so we've done that we've got this is the kind of log cabin style foundation that we've made now those stakes earlier, which you saw in episode 1, which are here, these are being used as reinforcing points uh, on the joins here, on the joins up there in the other corners, just to keep it all extra sealed and obviously to not waste the sticks that we've used we burnt those we cut them up we're not wasting them so they are support sticks and you can see them kind of dotted around the shelter there's some over there uh, in that corner and then some down here just there as well for this bit here this is just to help secure the a-frame while we are lashing it all together because we've got another one a dustin is digging the end one in over there we've got another one to go in this middle part here so there's three of these large a frames and then we're gonna lash the center pole there and some side supports as well in the meantime that's what these stakes are for just to keep it all rigid to stop this from blowing over to the sides these stakes are also burnt burnt in as well to you know help prevent that rot and keep it at bay but it's looking good it's looking really good the viking house is finally starting to take shape we're really pleased with the foundations we've leveled it all off uh, we've got a lot of work to do still but it is coming along hopefully today We've only got a few hours left of sunlight. Hopefully today we will finish the actual A-frames. And uh, 
then it will be ready. Ready for the bark roof. How's it going, Dustin? Not too bad. We've got some clay down there, so it's pretty hard digging, isn't it? As soon as you get through all this nice sort of like leaf mulch, you get to this really hard clay. But I'm sure we can think of something good to do with this. We've got some ideas, haven't we? Yeah, a few, uh, a few clay projects. One of them actually to use that clay there is is chinking in these gaps where where these log sort of log cabin style uh, logs are put together the foundation we're gonna chink that clay in those gaps smooth it all off just to stop any draft and airflow going in just like Dustin is doing there, yeah, we'll work away, crush Finish. it all in. Yeah, just fill it all in. Yeah, back we'll get... fill it with some leaves as well. Makes it a little bit warmer in the, uh, in the longhouse. It does, it's coming along though, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It's really coming along, we, even we surprised ourselves. <laughs> taken a few days to get to this yeah but we've really tried to put a bit more effort in yeah we're not and uh, we're, we're not sort of bodging it some some areas we are but things like the dowels and everything we're not yeah and even even trying to preserve the wood is we want it to last for as long as we can i know it's not gonna last for not gonna last forever we are using natural materials and they're all dead anyway yeah but things like burning these off it's gonna preserve it it's gonna stop that rot from from forming it's gonna put it off by a few years at exactly. least exactly yeah it's so. coming along though we're quite impressed the other thing we did if you can see up here uh today which took a lot of time is the wood dowels so we made some holes with a drill and bit you can see there's the uh the wood dowel that we've used we could have put a wedge in it as well and split it to pinch it in tight and saw the wedge off but we were quite happy with how that was anyway and uh, you know we're not doing it all perfectly we're just doing as as well as we can so we've got one that side one that side we notched out this support pole as well so that's all ready really to to go so for the roofing materials which is likely going to be the third episode potentially the fourth episode we're not sure yet we'll see how much we get done here <clears throat> we're gonna go for cedar so cedar bark all the trees that you see around me pretty much here the evergreens are all cedar trees the logs that we've used for the foundation they are cedar as are the a-frame sh uh, structure logs they are also cedar the bark on cedar is very very tough it's durable it's water repellent and it's actually one of the few trees that takes ages and ages to rot away it's it's one up there with some of the best that's why they use it for log cabin building so it's a very durable hard wearing wood so we're gonna go for cedar bark now that part or that episode is gonna take a very long time to make 
Uh, so we may have to merge it into a couple of episodes. We're not sure yet. But that's going to come in time. We are in the winter. It doesn't doesn't kind of look it. We've had some rain. We're in January at the moment. Uh, we're stacking these episodes up just ready to drop them for you guys on TA Outdoors on the YouTube channel. Uh, don't forget as well, check out Dustin's YouTube channel, Bushcraft Tools. He does plenty of bushcraft stuff. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the description below. We are going to carry on finishing with this A-frame. Uh, hopefully we get it done today, if we don't we'll carry on for the next episode, but stay with us. I think it needs to come down this side. Yeah, that side down a little bit. Still think it's quite high on the on the that side. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, it's peaty, isn't it? Maybe a little bit, a couple more, I'm just...
right there. Let me get the other side. So we've got the front end and the back end of the A-frame up, it's looking awesome. We've also just put the ridge pole on and now it's really coming together. You can actually see the structure. So these, the rafters essentially are going to come all the way down to the ground down here. So that's why the cedar logs at the bottom are there and that's why they're stacked too high is to stop any drafts coming in. Even though the bark essentially when we layer that bark up there it's going to come right down to the ground as well because we're going to start at the bottom and tile it all the way up. But that's essentially the, the, the overall shape. It's a really good size, we're pleased with it. We didn't want to build it too big because otherwise it's going to mean loads of material to collect for the bark roof. Um, and that would have taken years. So it's going to be big enough. Trust, trust me, it's going to be big enough. But it's it's really good. So this is essentially where this squares off here is where we would walk in. So we've got all this room to be able to walk under. And then after this, that's where the eaves of the shelter comes in. So the sort of angle of it, and that's where it gets a bit more restricted. But hopefully we're going to put seats here. We're going to have a fire pit in the middle. A big, like a long Viking fire pit. Oh, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Maybe a folding table at the back. Yeah, we might have some hinges with a folding table. Folding table, the legs that fall out like that. Yeah. And maybe a little window or something yeah. at the back. We might even put a little loft conversion. Yeah. <laughs> we but look how sturdy this is, look! It's ridiculous! It's so... and that's with wood jowls holding it. Brilliant. It's, and, and we're gonna put the middle one up now, the middle A-frame. Which is gonna completely lock it all down. Well, we're super chuffed. These support poles are great. We buried it. It's going to be so rigid once it's all together.
it go forward and cut under, it might let the ridge fall a bit. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Okay, to go under. Right, that's him. Yeah. Yeah. What we're doing here, guys, is obviously we showed you this earlier. This is all clay. Because it's wet today, it's actually compressing quite nicely. If this was the summer, and it was hard, this would be difficult, wouldn't it? It'd be all crumbly. Yeah. But because it's wet, as we bash this down, it's it kind just... Of forms and... It, it moulds, it moulds like Play-Doh around this stake here. It's really you just rough. see it just getting flat. Look at where Dustin's hitting it there. It's, uh, it's just mushing down. Amber's helped out with some digging today as well. <laughs> you good girl. Yeah, you good girl, Amber. You good girl. We are almost there. And that is how far we've got for episode 2 of the Viking Shelter, or Viking House. It's looking good so far. We are pleased with it. We've got all the wood dowels and things in the A-frame sections. And that, that is going to be the entrance just here. It's all level. Look at that, that's pretty good. Given that we didn't even use a spirit level with that. And that's pretty symmetrical. We're very pleased. <laughs> Doing it all by eye. So we've left an overhang on the ridge pole up here as well. Whereabouts? There. So that we can have a porch, a small porch area at the front. It's gonna it's gonna be good. That's it for episode two. Hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed, we're going to have episode 3 out possibly in a week's time uh, where we hope to get a lot more done as well here at the Viking Shelter. Thanks so much for watching guys, really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next episode.